Hey there guys, my name is Cody Joseph Painter. I'm an artist and a designer and today I want to show you something that I really enjoy about using color to create 3D texture. It's my very first video for a new series of design tips uh, that I'll be posting on my Patreon page. So check me out there, check me out on Instagram at Cody Joseph Painter or wherever you can find me. Uh, thank you so much for watching um, and if you have any questions feel free to send me a message. All right, so what we're gonna do is, uh, you can see here I've created some bars and some boxes. We are going to use gradients to get a nice range of colors that we can use to create this three-dimensional shading. So first, let's get a gradient in here. All right, we're gonna wanna select two colors that are pretty close together um, but not enough of a difference that you can get a little bit of a range. All right, we'll do the same thing here. And for this one, we're going to do blues. And for this one, we'll do shades of red and orange. Okay, so what we now what we need to do with these gradients is we need to rasterize them so that the colors become selectable. And this allows us to create a really nice spectrum kind of color palette. And you'll see in a minute what I mean. All right, so then we're gonna grab our boxes and we're gonna sample. our colors along the way. All right. So as you can see here, we have this nice range of colors and when we fill them into this pattern, it's going to create a really cool 3D texture. I'm gonna not. I'm not gonna fill in the entire pattern for you today, but I think you'll get uh, you'll get the idea. Just enough so you can see. So I'm going to start with the lighter color on the top, in the uppermost shape, and this will create the effect of light. And then with the medium color, we'll do on this, this side. In future videos, I'll be talking with you guys about how I create some of these patterns. But for now, I just want to show you this cool color trick.
Oh, I missed a couple squares. Now I left the outlines in of course so that I could see what was going on with my shapes but I really like how these patterns look without any outline because it really lets those colors sing next to each other. Alright, so there you have it, creating 3D texture with color variants. Make sure to follow me and thank you so much for watching my video.